Hello everybody, I recently picked up three different component cables and so I thought it'd be helpful for those who are looking into PS2 or PS3 component cables to have an idea of the difference between the different options available. The reason I was in the market for new component cables was in part due to me getting this TV. This is a Panasonic 32-inch 1080i CRT. It's pretty big. The thing weighs way over 100 pounds. It's very heavy. And so I got this TV for free. And then I got this bottom piece, which is meant for a Sony Trinitron or some other kind of CRT uh, for $10. So that was only $10. Pretty good. And so it's got this glass loaded spring door. And so I wanted this for mainly the PS2, but I've also got the original Xbox and then a Wii U and the PS3. And so before I had the PS3 hooked up through HDMI on my flat screen in the living room. And so I wanted to bring that in here. And to do that, I would need a component cable. So I was searching to see what would be the best. And I already had a official component cable for the PlayStation. And so I didn't want to spend time switching the cable between them. And I also got this switcher for about $20 that this is hooked up directly to the TV. And then the PS2, the PS3, and the Wii U are all hooked up to this box. And it easily switches between them. And then I've got the power cable kind of a mess. I have my PC hooked up on the outlet next to it, and so I'm not sure if I should plug all this in with the same cord that's gonna have a PC into it. So for now, I just have it like this, and then when I'm not using it, I just plug it and tuck it away, which is not perfect, but it works. So here are the three cables. The first one, this is the $12 cable the cheapest as far as cheap cables go this is the most commonly recommended that I saw and so I'll put a link in the video's description if you want to check it out So it seems for $12 to be a pretty solid cable. It looks uh, braided with the uh, nylon, uh, nice and thick, and then cable. So overall, I expect that should be a good cable, but we'll see. The middle in the price range and probably the most recommended is the HD Retrovision cable. And so this cost $30 new. And the uh, shielding on this cable is supposed to be a lot better than even the official Sony component cable. So I expect this to be the best way to go for purchasing a component cable for the PS2 or PS3. And it's really stiff. And so that also seems to be a pretty good cable. And so we'll test that. And then this is one I already this is one I already owned. And this is the official a Sony component cable and this one works pretty good so it'll be interesting to see how it compares against these two and that way you can see that uh, that way you can see if it's worth spending the extra money for this cable or if you can cheap out and go with this one so let's get into it first up I'm going to try some movies on the PS3 and so I'm just going to set it up like this and just hook it right there so it's easy to switch the cables. A new life awaits you in the off-world colony. The chance to begin again in a golden land of opportunity and adventure.
I was trying to think of a game that would have a lot of color in it, and so I picked one of my favorite games, Jack and Daxter. And so, let's see how this goes. I wanted to note that the color does look a little different in these two, and you can see on the left, the OEM cable has a darker tone, and then at the end of the clip, the retrovision has the same darker tone, and so this is probably due just to the day and night cycle of Jack 1. And so I've been paying attention more to the color bleed, which should be the real difference between the cables, and I'm not really noticing anything. It all looks sharp. All three cables look good. All in all, even though the picture quality was pretty identical, I think I'm still going to have to give the crown to the HD Retrovision just because of the price, uh, availability, and the build quality. These are excellently built cables. They fit tight in the plug and go easy into the PlayStation. These cables are good for $13, but I did notice that the that this part it fits kind of loose into the PlayStation and that these plugs also are kind of loose so over time i kind of think that this cord might get loose and there might be some uh, issues with durability it feels pretty good but it's going to be hard to say without using it long term if you're constantly plugging and unplugging i definitely wouldn't recommend this cable and this cable i got a couple of years ago for about 25 dollars, i think or so but this has been going up in price and probably only keep going up as PlayStation accessories keep getting more expensive. And so for $50, I don't think I would recommend this over this cable as this cable will continue to be produced and this cable will likely just continue to get more expensive. And so I hope that helped anybody that's shopping for cables to make their decision. And uh, thanks for checking out this video.